what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl fabiola and i'm back again yeah this is hey i did the first video but this is the second the second video anyway guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl fabiola and i'm back with another video as you can read by the title today i'll be talking to you guys about how to get away or over with breakups oh juicy juicy <laughs> I know most of you are asking, why is she telling us the story about how to get away or how to get over with breakups and she never had a boy, boy blah, blah, blah. Yo, I have, but it's just like I've never posted out there. I don't put my relationship out in, in the public, yo. I don't. <laughs> There's some reason to why. It's not like I'm afraid or I'm scared. It's just like sometimes when you put people into your business, that's how you start, um, I mean, when you introduce people into your business, that's how you start having fights. That's how you start having negativity in your relationship. And that's how your relationship sometimes don't even go the way you want it to because you are in, you have invited some in, intruders that don't love to mind their own business. They love to mind other people's business when they have their own waiting for them. Okay, so you guys, um, I know breakups, they're hard. Sometimes they're hard for us to accept. They're hard for us to live with but it's the reality of the world i mean we live to meet people and we live to lose those people every day is a journey every single day we wake up we sleep wake up it's a new day it's a journey because the things you do today you're not able to do them tomorrow <laughs> or what happened today will never happen again tomorrow that's that's the one that one is gone forever like it's never gonna happen today's today tomorrow is another day so that being said, I feel like I can speak on breakups because I've had a few and I won't say they've been the good ones. They've been really pretty bad. Some of them they've been pretty bad, some of them they're just like normal break. It's normal breakup for everybody. But how do we get over them? That's a hard question. I know a lot of people suffered with how to get over their exes, how to get over their breakups. Like some people they just when they have breakups, they don't one number one number one thing people do, they don't eat. They they um strive themselves from hunger. They don't eat, they they lock themselves up, they don't associate with nobody, they just lose themselves they just like they, they feel like they are alone they, most of them they feel like they are lost and stuff honey it's time to change all that i'm here to help you i'm here to give you tips on how to get and to get over and how to just leave everything like nothing ever happened number one thing one thing that um can help you to get over a breakup is accepted that's number one thing Anything that's happened, even though your relationship was a 10-year relationship, 5-year relationship, 2-year relationship, 1-year relationship, doesn't matter. One thing for you to go, like to get over or to pass through that stage is to accept the situation, okay? Number one thing, accept, okay, this has happened and it's not your fault or it's not his fault. Just accept it happened and it's the reality, you know, just accept it. And first, when you accept it, it's gonna uplift something from your heart it's gonna remove a burden from your heart because you know once you're through you're going through a heartbreak it always feels like you're carrying a heavy thing in you 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 hate that person you don't want to see them you're like having this anger you have this hatred in you first like i said guys number one thing accept the situation accept okay this has happened okay accept that someone left me accept that i'll never i'll never have to do anything with this person again you don't have to hate them you just don't have to hate them. You can you guys can still be friends if you want to, or you guys can still say hi whenever you met you meet somewhere. You guys can still you don't have necessary to hate each other because you guys broke up. No, it doesn't work that way. Can you imagine for me with my exes I still talk to them? That's funny. Yeah, I know people. It's not like talk talk all the time. No, once in a while whenever they say hi to me, I don't ignore them. I do say hi but one thing i told all of them we need to have um how do you call them um we need to have a respect to each other and you need to have a limit okay you can't cross this you know you can't cross this um 
these bars and I can't cross yours. So you have to respect my decision. You have to respect my life and I will respect your life. That's how you have to make it. But like once you start telling your, your exes, you start talking about your feelings from the past, you'll, you'll never get over them. But once you accept, okay, this has happened and I have to live with it. That is one thing removed from your chest. The second thing I've learned about breakups is to treat yourself. You know, once you, uh, someone broke your heart, someone, once someone left you for some reason, yo, take care of yourself, take yourself out, go and pamper yourself, go and have manicures, go and have pedicures, go out with your friends, like do all those things, uh, do all those things that makes you happy. That is the time to like make yourself, you know, appreciate yourself more because you're beautiful you are loving it doesn't matter what people say about you life have to go on it doesn't mean like when someone left you when someone breaks your heart you have to you never you never find someone else no honey you will there's a thousands of people out there waiting for you it's just a matter of time where and when you guys will met but everyone have their own person somewhere waiting for them and if this person doesn't work with you then that means it's never meant for you to be. it's never meant for you guys to be and it's never your destiny so Everyone have their own destiny. You know, we met people. I always say we always meet people for a reason. And everything happened, they always happen for a reason. And for me, I never hated someone that I ever dated before. Or whatever they did to me. I never, um, I always appreciate them. Because one thing, in that relationship, not everything was hatred. You guys had history one time. You guys made memories so you can't you can just tell me all those stuff will just go like that you guys have some good stuff and you guys had some bad stuff so everything happened if you guys broke up there's some piece of them they left with you which you'll never forget or if you did that's you but for me i always say everything comes for a reason and everything i appreciate because every person you met you learned something new from them so maybe this person i learned this person uh maybe from this person i learned how to be calm or how to talk to people whenever they're mad or maybe with this person i learned how to be going out every single day i learned how to be su surprising my partner or maybe with this person i learned how to i learned how to uh what i learned how to share or i learned how to maybe cook with him i learned how to maybe be a family oriented uh, orienti orientation person. <laughs> orientated person. You know, you learn little things for everyone you met. So you can't just say like, you can't just hate them and just say negativity stuff about them. No, girl, you, they left something. They left something in you. So like I say, just have to appreciate them and just pray for them. They have a good life and wish them all the best in their lives. That's, that's, how, we, that's how it is, you know. So, number one, as I said, you have to accept a situation. Number two, you have to take care of yourself. Pump up yourself. Go out with your girls. Go and have massages. Go and have pedicure, manicure. Just do the things that you love. If you love drawing, do more of drawing. If you love dancing, do more of dancing. If you love singing, do more of singing. And trust me, girl, by the time you realize, <laughs> the memory of that person is no longer in your mind. One thing people don't know, yo. For us women, for us girls, for us ladies, when we love someone, we do love someone with our whole heart. We put ourselves out there. But once we hate someone, we hate them with a passion. The way we love them before, the way we hate that person. And ever when and every time when they want to come back, it's never that easy. Even though you take them back, the relationship will never be the same. You'll be seeing that person maybe as a you know, just a backup or like just someone I need to waste my time with. But the relationship, the love you have for that person before will never come back again. Um, correct me if this is wrong. When you love someone, you love them truly. But when you hate them, you hate them. And most of the time, okay, I know most of the time people do go back together. But trust me, the relationship will never be 100% the way it was before. Never. Because those people, whenever they broke up with you, they already take... 10% of trust, 10% of love from you. So when you guys go back together, it's going to be 90%. If that thing happened again, and you guys go back together, it's going to be 80% until when they drain you and you just hit them completely. 
but i believe for guys is different because for guys they don't feel the pain the same time we women we girls uh we ladies feel the pain for the ladies when you broke up you find yourself crying you find yourself moaning you find yourself like doing all sorts of stuff that's the, the exactly same moment the exactly same month you'll be like down your stuff your things will not going the same you'll be like lost and stuff but once you're done once you're done crying and everything oh, you'll be living your best life but for guys when you guys broke up you'll see them tomorrow partying having girls around enjoying his life and like this guy never even felt something for me you just, you'll be asking yourself so many questions because one thing i realize for guys that don't the heartbreak doesn't keep them exactly the same time it's gonna keep them later on once you're living your life once you forgot about them and once you moved on that is when they will start realizing oh man i lost something oh man oh you know those questions those you know things will start coming back to them and then once they once they did, it's already too late for some of them because you already moved on. You have someone else. You're seeing someone else. You're enjoying life with someone else. You know, you gave your heart to someone else. That is the time now they start. The heartbreak start uh, hitting them. So heartbreak for lady, uh, for girls and boys is different compared to how we are. We are because we are diff two different people. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm wrong, but you guys correct me. I just for me, I feel like heartbreak for girls and boys is different. For girls, we do cry a lot. The same same month, the same same whatever year, it's gonna kill us. It's gonna uh, make us lose ourselves. But once we get over it, uh, honey, we are done. But for boys, <laughs> they'll still they will be happy. They'll continue with their life for the entire time. But once you move on, once you say enough is enough, that is when the breakup shit will start hitting them so hard to the point they they can't see you with anyone else. It's like okay. You know, one thing I don't understand with guys is so confusing. When someone broke your heart, if they see you with someone else, it's like it's like a um a knife stabbing their back. It's like they cannot see you with someone else. It's like when they left you, they want you to be alone for the entire life. They don't want to see you happy. Like, honey, are you sick in the head? Well, was my mama uh gave back to me for you? No. No. So don't let someone Torture you. Don't let someone make you feel less of yourself, yo. Don't let that happen. So yeah, that's one thing I've been doing for myself. Whenever I have uh, breakups, I always just pamper myself, make myself happy, go out, do the stuff that I've never had to do. You know, um, hang out with my friends. Um, just do everything that I want. And another thing, guys, um, if you're going through breakup if you feel like it's your fault one thing again to get over that thing is for you to take up your fault or call that person and just um how do you call this apologize sometimes i just feel not apologize like talk uh talk through about what happened sometimes i feel like talking through about what happened set your heart and soul free because sometimes you always cry and that thing will never come out uh, out of our mind because we always think about this person oh because of me if i didn't do this this will be like this if i didn't do this if i did the opposite um the opposite way this will be like this it's gonna be opposite blah, blah, blah. you know you you have all these questions going around your head and they would never get away until you accept the situation until you want to talk about it because once you talk about it it's like out of your chest you remove it really like you talk about everything okay guys and once you decided to talk about stuff talk everything don't let some things um stay because you don't want to um hurt someone's feeling talk about every little thing you want to talk about because that is your moment uh take it like this you're doing an exam and that exam is like 40 minutes in that 40 minutes you have to answer all all questions if you don't answer some questions you never get the exam back so that is it if you're getting zero you're getting zero if you're getting 100 you're getting 100 so just take it that way so once you have that chance to talk with that person just make sure make real uh, make like make sure guys you collect all the information that you want to talk about you collect everything that you want to express yourself just express yourself that's your moment Talk about everything, everything to learn by like, everything to feel like you have in your chest that you want to get out of, you want to get them off, just say them. They might come out as wrong, they might come out as right, 
it doesn't matter as long as you say them that's it if they like it that's their problem if they don't like it that's their problem as long as you said your point as long as you said your piece as long as you said your part that's what matters so that's one thing i've learned again saying what i have in my chest uh because i believe it's good even though you guys will never have anything again it's okay for them to know okay this what happened maybe we, can, we could have done something different maybe we could have done this and this and this and i feel like that will help both of you guys whenever you're going into a new relationship at least you know some things um to do differently with the new person instead of you just keeping the stuff to yourself it's better for you to share them with your partner so yeah I don't know what you guys do whenever you're dealing with breakups. I don't know if you guys just cry the whole time. I don't know if you guys just like stay in your pajamas the whole month. Don't go to work and stuff. Yo, I was I was like you guys. I can't say like I've never cried for a breakup. Yo, I have. There's even one time. I know my friends know this, but <laughs> I just feel stupid, yo. I feel stupid yeah i feel stupid stupid for that well i wouldn't say i feel stupid i just feel like i was i was too dramatic and i was yeah i would just say i was stupid at that time i was okay let me just tell you um i a part about the story so i was going through a um, heartbreak <laughs> yo and what happened is me and my friend we had a party you have a sleepover actually you know sleepover you do everything people do at the sleepover and i was mad i was okay i was happy at the same time i was i was having this anger going into my chest i was like i had all these mixed feelings i have all these mixed emotions because i was going through a heartbreak and now i'm enjoying with my friend but at the same time i'm crying in my heart and just uh go, go to a point that i started saying because me okay like i told you because i don't share uh my relationship with people a lot especially if the thing is not like that serious at the moment so i don't really talk about my relationship by that time it was crazy because the breakup was too i don't know it was too intense and it was it was actually it was killing me it was really killing me so i started crying and everyone was confused why is Fabi crying because whenever i'm happy i'm always like smiling the whole time whenever i'm having a good time i'll smile like all the time like and stop non-stop i mean i'll keep on smiling 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 but that day i started crying yo i was crying and the same time i'm happy so everyone was so concerned like what's going on so people they uh my friends came and sat around me and, you know i start saying shit i start saying everything that i've done with this guy like how i gave my life with this guy and what he did to me blah 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 blah, 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 blah. you know all those stuff yo and uh remind you this was 20 2020 when this happened so don't start saying blah 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 don't start making things in your head and start saying, oh i was there <laughs> you don't know shit and you don't know the person i won't say the person's name because i don't like exposing people not exposing but i just don't like uh, putting people out there but yeah i start saying everything that happened with this person and i was crying and if i tell you guys I actually puke girls i know sorry yeah i throw up while crying <laughs> and then yo i don't remember much what happened i just remember people are telling me in the morning what i said and everything that went down and i was like really i never thought like i'll ever expose myself the way i did to my friends that night <laughs> it was so confused yo like i cried like i never cried before but like i was crying and saying shit about this person and my friend was like, yeah, yeah, if we see these people, if we see this person, we're going to beat him, blah, blah, blah. You know how your friends are whenever they got your back? You, know, you can't even beat the person because the person is, uh, <laughs> this person works out, bro. He can beat all of us. So, <laughs> no, your friends want to make you happy. They will say everything just to make you happy. But my friends were like, yeah, we're going to beat this person. Whenever we see him, we're going <laughs> to, you know, all those kind of stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it was so funny yo. but since that day from there i learned a lot i learned too much that's why i even have the courage to come and tell you guys some stuff that i've learned how to overcome my breakup instead of crying the way i did that time because that was so embarrassing the things i said i can't tell you guys here because some of the some of the things are not appropriate so yeah it's crazy yo don't don't be stupid don't go and kill yourself the way you did don't go and cry in the bathroom the way i did that time because that was so stupid of me can you imagine the person i was crying i was crying over this person was enjoying his life if he sees instagram if he sees snapchat this person was enjoying your having his best moment having his best time but yo guess what after um, months months i tell you months this person start texting me they want to go back I'm like honey i gave you all the chances where were you when i was crying in the bathroom where were you when i didn't eat for like weeks where were you when i was closing like i was locked i locked myself in the room where were you you were never there so yeah that's why i told you guys guys it take time for them to hit to you know for the breakup to hit them but for ladies we go through eh? we go through that you understand what i mean but yeah that was crazy and that was stupid but at the same time it's happened it's life i was crying for that person but yeah he came back to me crying too so that's sweet but I don't go back once we done once we close the chapter we close it we go to the next chapter we don't go back to the same garbage we had before we go back to the new ones freshy up <laughs> you don't mind me i'm crazy but yeah guys that's um some lessons some notes take notes for you guys if you're going through heartbreaks it's good to talk about it sometimes Find people who you trust. Don't, okay, one thing, yo, don't go around telling people your your business. Because once you start introducing these people into your business, some people, they'll pretend they're your friends. Some people, they pretend they're, um, they're morning with you. Yo, ho, believe me. Some people, when you tell them shit, they'll go out there, start laughing, start making fun of you, and start creating all this sort of shit. So don't be telling everyone your business. Find people that you trust. Find people that you know I feel comfortable with, then you can share your story, but not everyone. Don't share your story, especially private stuff. Don't be sharing with anyone that call themselves your friends and you feel like they are friends to you. No. So, yeah. So, uh, that is one thing I forgot to mention. Talk about what you're feeling with someone. Find someone to trust. Maybe your mom, maybe your friend, maybe your grandma. Just talk to someone. That will help you um go over through breakups so don't keep stuff for yourself guys it's gonna kill you so it's always good to talk about our feelings even though they hurt even though they are you feel you feel like they're gross it's okay even though you feel they are stupid things you have to talk about it's okay nothing is stupid everything counts you know and um i believe if you do those stuff you're gonna nail it once you pass through breaks up you'll be like hey is it me i used to cry You'll be like strong like you have never been before you like i've just learned and right now if i tell you if someone hurt my feelings okay it's hard i wouldn't say it doesn't it hurt but like not to the level that it used to be before because i've learned how to conquer it i've learned how to accept myself i've learned how to beat the odds and that is one thing you guys anyway guys i feel like i've talked too much i feel like i've shared with you the pieces that you guys needed to listen to and yeah, if you guys have any comments, if you guys any have, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, or if anyone have other alternative that they use, um, for what they use to go over breakups, please share with your friends. Please leave the comment down there so that it can help other people to get through. You know. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm about to go and have my dinner. I mean, now it's earlier. I, mean, I think it's already like around four something. But yeah, I'm about to go and eat and prepare my stuff for tomorrow because I have work tomorrow. So yeah, until next time, guys. Enjoy. Okay, don't forget to leave a comment down below. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah.